Uh, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's John from Trip Team. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, I'm in my kitchen, and I'm going to share with you uh, how I mix up chemical water uh, for four liters in like 30 minutes, usable, ready to go chem water. Here's how I do it. Okay, so um, I like to mix my chem water up like a couple gallons at a time, so I have it on the ready. It's smoothed out. It's ready to go. Um, and there's another reason I do that too, which I'll explain. But the things that you're going to need uh, to mix this recipe are uh, distilled water. It's, it's the main ingredient. Um, urea. I use, um, this is where it's going to take some explaining. I use, um, this is liquid urea at 32.5%, um, also known as diesel exhaust fluid. Um, now I've experimented with this for a few years now and what I've come to find out is this brand is the only brand that I've found that that is consistent um, it's pure it's good it's made with uh, reverse osmosis water and just pure urea um, I cut it in half with distilled water because um, this is two this is two and a half gallons it costs about probably about 10 bucks so it's not necessarily cost effective um, versus buying bulk pellet urea but the, the downfall is this will convert to ammonia um, with heat um, so it's really not super stable so I only use it mainly in the winter I'm kind of experimenting this time of year to see where where it might go um, but one way I get around the, the, the DEF converting to ammonia is I uh, mix, the chem, mix it in chem water, mix it up, get it diluted and mixed up and it seems I've had good luck doing that. So uh, because I've had jugs of this convert to ammonia overnight, you open the lid and it'll just nearly take your breath away. And that's a bad thing because ammonia will kill the color in your tie-dye. Uh, when it's when it's in the dye mixture um, as you're applying it. Um, so some of the things you uh, the the other things you're going to need uh, you're going to need stuff to you're going to need a way to measure your ingredients. A blender I use a blender. Um, I'll explain that too. Calcium oil and sodium alginate and another measuring thing. Um, so, so what I do uh, for my recipe, I'll put a liter, one one full liter of of the DEF un, undiluted. This is full strength DEF. Goes in the blender, and then I will put in one. Two, three, four teaspoons of sodium alginate. This is going to be really super thick when it's mixed, uh, but we're going to be diluting it down to regular strength. And then just blend it up. Okay, so while that we we blended that for about 30 seconds, um, you can see that it's uh, it's completely mixed up. There's probably some little chunks in there still. So we let that set. I'll let that set for about 10 minutes. Um, and in the meantime, what I'll do is get get my uh, the rest of my mixture ready. So um, I'm gonna want uh, distilled water, um, one liter. We're actually gonna be putting two two liters of distilled in total. Um, I have this empty 
this is a great they're great to store your chem water uh, two and a half gallons at a time two gallons at a time or whatever and so I mix it in in this jug so this is uh, one liter of distilled water We're going to put a liter of the, the uncut urea. I don't know why I did it in this order. I guess it doesn't matter. But. The uncut DEF. that second liter of water. Okay, now we have the, we have the, what's going to dilute this concentrate. This is a concentrated mix, so uh, we have the rest of the water and urea in here. So when we add this to it, this will be a four liter jug of uh, chem water. We'll just shake it up a little bit, then I'll let it, then I'll go set it in the corner and let it rest for an hour or so while I'm finished tying and then ready to mix dye. Um, there's one last ingredient that I add at this part at this at this step is the calcellin oil I add it into this uh, the diluted jug and uh, one one teaspoon or five milliliters uh, per liter the, I've experimented and I found that the increased calcellin oil gives me uh, good saturation and penetration into the uh, thicker trip style, heavier things, the thicker things. So we're going to put four of these teaspoons in there. So we've got three liters in there and we're going to be adding the fourth. Now we'll go back to the blender. Get this down out of the way. Go back to the blender and mix it again. It's super, super thick. And I will repeat this resting and mixing every few minutes for a couple more times, uh, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got uh, this concentrate all blended up and ready. Um, over the course of about 15 or 20 minutes, we um, blended for 30 seconds and let it rest for a few minutes and repeated that until... I don't see any chunks or anything moving around in the blender. It's super thick though, and you're gonna see that now when I pour it out. So we're just gonna put that then in this this diluted jug that we've got already. So this will turn this into the chem water. I might add just a skosh of distilled into the blender because it's so thick. 
I just want to get all that last little bit out of there. There we go. Super thick. All right, then let's put the lid on and give it a little little shake like that and now I've got four liters of chem water ready to go um, and I'll repeat this process and this jug then we'll have a couple gallons and I will be set on chem water for a few days so uh, I hope this helps you guys um, this is a solid recipe and it's uh, you'll be on your way to hopefully better tie-dyes um, I know it gets busy out there and, and everybody has a has a fast life so just don't don't uh, forget to take time to enjoy life slow down smell the roses.